welcome to the fourth episode of the WTVC podcast and our second video cast. I'm Caroline Borneo, your host, joined today with Hope Rustar, Alicia Helbling, Lisa Hastings, Dejanine Johnson, and Granny Johnson. And now, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> and now for some library events. On April 27th, the Mandeville branch will be having a teen volunteer council meeting at 6 p.m. Also at 6 p.m. on April 30th, there will be a manga meetup at the Slidell branch. If you are looking to participate in the teen summer reading program as a volunteer, you need to have an application in by May 9th. You can find those applications at your branch of the St. Tammany Parish Library System or on our website. If you are a returning veteran as a volunteer or a newbie, just make sure that you know orientations are only for those who have their completed applications approved and who have been notified by library staff that they can be a volunteer. Approved teens must attend one of the scheduled orientations of their experience level before volunteering. Volunteer orientation for returning volunteers at the Causeway branch is at 6 p.m. May 20th. The next day, the 21st, Covington and Slidell will be having theirs at 6 p.m. Then. On the 22nd, the library will be starting its first day of summer reading. On the 22nd and 23rd, there will be more volunteer orientation at the Slidell branch from 5 to 8 p.m. and at the Madisonville branch from 10 to 2 p.m. And those are for new volunteers? Yeah, new volunteers only. Online registration for teen summer reading Escape the Ordinary opens on Friday, May 22nd. You can register on the teen page on our website from your home or at your favorite library branch. Read 12 hours by August 15th and you receive a TVC approved prize of an on-the-go car charger for your device. Teens who complete 12 hours will also be placed into three random drawings for a $50 gift card to the St. Tammany Parish retailer of their choice. Ooh, I'm gonna enter that. Yeah, me too. Um, be sure to register for our awesome free teen events scheduled throughout the summer at your branch. We've mentioned a lot of them, so make sure that you register online. Hi, I'm Lisa Hastings, and for this podcast book review, I will be telling you about Loreen Howes Anderson's book, Speak. Speak follows Melinda Sorrento, who starts her freshman year of high school hated by everyone in school and abandoned by her friends because she called the cops and busted the biggest summer party. As she enters this new world, she is left alone to navigate the emotional wreckage of being raped by a senior, Andy Peters, at the party. With no one to turn to, she sinks into silence and depression, and things only get worse when Melinda learns that her ex-best friend Rachel is dating Evan. In the book, Anderson allows readers who have been raped to identify with Melinda, while challenging all readers to speak and discover their voice. With the, no with the novel, Anderson wonderfully represents the trauma and recovery that follows being raped. It inspires strength and is truly one of my favorite books. I chose the book in honor of April being Sexual Assault Awareness Month. If you've already read Speak, you should try Glimpse by Carol Lynch Williams. Living with their mother, who earns money as a prostitute, two sisters take care of each other, and when the older one attempts suicide, the younger one tries to unco uncover the reason. Another interesting book is Charm and Strange by Stephanie Kuhn. A lonely teenager exiled to a remote Vermont boarding school in the wake of a family tragedy must either surrender his sanity to the wild wolves inside his mind or learn that surviving means more than not dying. You can also try Tease by Amanda Michelle. Emily Poon is dead and it's all Sarah Walton's fault. At least that's what everyone seems to think. Sarah, along with her best friend and three other classmates, have been criminally charged for the bullying and harassment that led to Emma's shocking suicide. The word of the day is zigzagedness. Z-I-G-Z-A-G-G-E-D-N-E-S-S. -S. It's a noun. It means the state or quality of being zigzagged or alternating directions sharply. Have you ever been in the state of zigzagedness? I have no idea. I think I am whenever my mom drives. I don't know if you'd be aware if you're in the state or not. <laughs> it's terrifying. So the song of the week is by the sister trio, Hem. 
Here is a clip of The Wire by sisters S, Elena, and Danielle. was The Wire by him. If you enjoyed that clip, then I urge you to check it out and more on Freegal. All you have to do is download the free app, enter your library card, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, I use it a lot actually. That's very interesting. Five free downloads a week. Wow. Songs. Music. And then they just stay on there and you get more in the next week. Hi, I'm Lisa and the poem this week is from one of the Public Library's books, Poisoned Apples, by Christina Herpman. The poem is The Little Mermaid. Even before I found the globe in his study and realized that this endless land is really just a few stray crusts drifting through the blue, my world had shrunk to the size of my tender new feet on the dance floor, each minute like a harpooning, to the size of the satin pillow he lets me sleep on beside his bed, to the size of his eyes reflecting my eyes, begging, love me, hold me, don't leave me, to the size of my mouth. This dead eel's nest, open now while he feeds me oysters, or as I used to call them, a friend. You can find more poetry books at this library and your own branch in the 811 section, and you can send your poetry in to be read on the Poetry Corner by giving them to your library and having them addressed to the teen librarian, Miss Hillary. Uh, hello, we're back with this week's covered events and Beijing. Library Con on Fandoms Convention. Teen Java had to skip the this summer and join us for free fun events at their library. It's going to be kicked off at the Madisonville branch with the first Library Con on Fandoms Convention. It will be on May 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be speakers, costume contests, trivia, gaming, crafts, a photo booth, and fan art and fan fiction submissions. Starting Friday, May 22nd, we're going to kick off the summer reading program. The theme of the summer reading program is Escape the Ordinary. During the summer reading, you must read 12 hours reading books, your reading level or higher. And when you complete this, you'll be put in the three raffles for $50 to a store of your choice. So come to your local library or sign up online so you can be part of this great experience. This has been the fourth episode of WTVC and our second video cast. I'm Caroline Borneo. I'm Hope Brewster. I'm Alicia Helbling. I'm Lisa Hastings. I'm Daisy Johnson. And I'm Bob Marley. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.